It's been almost 33 months since we were last here in Phillip Island. We had three different winners at the 2020 Grand Ridge Brewery Australian Round, and some things never change. The weather playing its part in an unpredictable race one. It looks like everyone's out there on a wet tyre from what we can see. Race one of the 2022 Grand Ridge Brewery Australian Round in drying conditions. Fast start from Jonathan Ray from the middle of that front row. He pulls alongside Alvaro Bautista. Bassani's going to make his way through here on Gerloff and already released up into sixth position. Jonathan Ray trying to split the two of them up at the head of the field. He's made the pass in towards turn number one. And here goes Jonathan Ray against Alvaro Bautista in towards turn four. Top rank Raz Gaffioglu makes the pass now on Alvaro Bautista. Very brave indeed from Alex Lowe's as he makes it through for third. Raz Gaffioglu, your new race leader, through the southern loop. Jonathan Ray responds. And Alex Lowe's coming through into Stoner. So it's going to be a Kawasaki 1 2 hit. And hits the front with Ray relegated to second place. If the track starts to dry out, it becomes really difficult to manage that tyre. Raz Gaffioglu running wide and off the racing line, and that's going to allow Alvaro Bautista to come through. And Jonathan Ray has decided that it's now or never, and he's followed in by top rack Raz Gaffioglu. He's switching on to slick tyres there for Ray. Jonathan Ray just making his way back out onto track. Top rack behind them, though, has given up time in the pits there, but we'll have to keep an eye on that. As Alvaro Bautista now comes into the pits. This is for the race lead. Carl Smith will go on Scott Redding. The problem for Smith is that uh, Jonathan Ray behind him is something like eight seconds a lap faster because Jonathan Ray is very swiftly going to be through here and uh, leads on lap 50. Still an opportunity for Carl Smith to pick up some points, remember? Bautista, Lowe's and Locatelli all through on Kyle Smith. He's going to go all the way around the outside of Bautista. Final turns. It's been 181 days. Jonathan Ray, after 24 races without a victory, is back on top with a win in race one of the Australian round. Seven years of Japanese dominance comes to an end. It's the 18th manufacturer's world title for Ducati, and it's fitting in the end that it's Alvaro Bautista who brings it home. The countdown to the end of 2022 is now on. The final day of the season. The final Tissot Super Bowl race coming up. Yeah, intermediates on Jonathan Ray's Kawasaki. Slicks on Alvaro Bautista's bike. Poor start from Alvaro Bautista and it's Andrea Locatelli who picks it up from Pata Yamaha 1-2. Going to go either side now of Bautista. For Alvaro Bautista, the gamble to use Slexi, six seconds off the race lead right now. Come off turn 12 once again. Again, Raz Gatlioglu's got the better run. Watch now for Jonathan Ray. He's side by side with Top Rack. And with another new fastest lap of the race from Ray, he assumes the lead. All the front runners are on the same combinations. Our wet front tyre intermediates on the rear. Alvaro Bautista, though, fastest lap of the race. He's two seconds a lap faster than the race leaders. Rack makes his move on Ray. It was bold from Bautista to go for a slick tyre on the grid, but he is now back up into the podium places. He pulls alongside Jonathan Ray. He's able to keep a much tighter line than Ray. Cuts back to the inside and through for the race lead as they come through Lukey Heights. Bautista with the recoveries that is going to be one of the greatest of all time. And a masterclass from Alvaro Bautista. A bold decision from him on the start line to fit the slick tyres to take a stunning victory in the final Tissot Super Bowl race. Welcome back for one final time to coverage of the 2022 Motul FIM Superbike World Championship. as uh, two riders run off the circuit. It was that Garrett Gerloff who's got caught up in the mix and uh, one of the Hondas as well. Uh, Alvaro Bautista's now been passed by Scott Redding. Alex Lowe's pops through now on Alvaro Bautista, gets his move done through Miller Corner. 
Bautista had to move out of the way because Alex Lowe's was already there when he went to the outside down the straight and Bautista comes firing through now on Lowe's for third position. Reddings left the door wide open and that opens it up for Alvaro Bautista to come through. They're practically three abreast now for third position. Redding begin to fade. He's moved out of the way by Raz Gatlioglu. Side by side at start of lap seven as Alvaro Bautista pulls through for the race lead. And Lowe's makes his move at the start of lap 15. Unfortunately, we have got a red flag, and I think that will be for Eugene Laverty. Big shame for Eugene Laverty to finish his superbike career. That will be a race victory for Alvaro Bautista ahead of Jonathan Ray and Alex Lowe's. Oh, oh.